All right, welcome back to Wind Waker Randomized. And let's see, how far are we? We only need three more items to finish the game. We need two stages of sword and one stage of arrows. So, at the risk of jinxing myself, this could be it, boys. Ganon's adventure may be coming to an end at long last. And I did, by the way, I ended the previous stream by letting you guys know I would grind for rupees, which I did, and I would grind for some collectibles, which I did. I now have enough uh, joy pendants. Is there anything else we needed? I guess that's it. Joy Pendants, and there's an item for 20 Golden Feathers, so we can get some more of those. If we really need to this stream. I also got, uh, I, I did find out what was the issue with, uh, Baito, the male guy. So, we'll go check him. And pro we'll probably have the Light Arrows. Something stupid like that. They were just there this entire time. I could have gotten Bow, like, immediately, had I known. Or, more likely, it'll just be a blue rupee. Ma. Ma. Alright, treasure chart. So rare, so valuable. Well, that was definitely worth grinding for. What else do we have? A great sea. We can access the ghost ship now. Forsaken Fortress, we can fight Phantom Ganon, which I think will grant us access to the rest of the Forsaken Fortress stuff. What did I need rupees for? I must have needed them for something. Oh, for the beetle, the beetle item, that's right, the uh, gold shop ship. That's what that was for. Uh, where is gold beetle? Rock Spire Isle. Hmm. Let's go check his shop. And then we'll go to, uh, we'll go to, uh, Dragon Roost. And take care of all of the couple things there. This could be a short stream. It could also not be a short stream. This could go either way. As randomizers tend to. These annoying sharks. I forgot to mention during the magic stream that we did yesterday. Probably should have mentioned uh, what was going on with the previous, the ending of the Pokemon stream. Uh, so emergency services apparently did not have the correct address for me. They thought that I was in the center of like the wildfire zone. I'm not. I wasn't even in like the green area, let alone the red area, so. Where am I going? I'm going to the shop ship. But when, you know, you get a very urgent public broadcast evacuate immediately message, you tend not to, uh... That's not really the time to, like, go online and research things, so... I drove in. I drove into Vancouver. Looked into stuff. Came back. It was only gone for like an hour or two. Mild inconvenience. Oh, that's right. So, Beetle told us what he had. He has one of our swords. So, we now only need two more items. Thank you, mysterious masked man. Hmm. 
and the other two are junk, so I can check those off. We don't we don't need the we don't need the feather. We might need the feathers, but I, I will get them at a place that they don't cost five hundred rupees. No, not windfall. Dragon roost. That's the place. So the situation with Baito was that uh, I didn't score high enough. The only number that I remember the post guy mentioning is 20, which is the minimum for you to get paid. In order for you to uh, summon Baito, though, you need to get at least 25. Boy, it's a good thing we live in the age of the internet and can and can look these things up. Maybe if I talked to him again, he would have said 25 or something. Because I know I did this, like, three times. 25, okay. Well, he says it there. Maybe I just skipped past it last time. This is quite a bit luck contingent. You don't want to get the ones that are far away from each other. As I'm sure everyone who's ever played this game probably mentions on stream. Ah! I'm old. I don't have the reaction times for this. That's my excuse. Old and RNG. There we go, that's what I need. Yeah, this is the one. At least I'm not losing rupees per attempt. That's the one good thing about this. No! I will reach a point where this will just be impossible. Harking back to that infamous video, how old you have to be in order to be falcon punched. Or I could falcon punch your grandmother. Whatever the name of that video was. It was not reassuring for things like this. I cheat. This is gonna be the whole stream. I'm just gonna be here sorting mail all day. Maybe if I just chill out and flail less. I'm making a lot of unnecessary mo movements because I'm trying to move, like, very quickly. Ah! 
What kind of job works in 30 second shifts? I mean, granted, it's for chump change, but... So much wasted movement. What's, by the way, what's the point of him hiring me to do this if he has to manually check anyway? Like, he has to be, otherwise the ones that I put in the wrong ones wouldn't get taken out again. <coughs> I can't tell, am I losing time from doing that? Flip the switch, I'm in go mode now. I'm not gonna be moving around all over the place. Just going where I need to go. That's it, that's what I need to do. I need to flip the switch. Yes, I am Ganon. Oh, the, the chieftain has been talking about me. Good things, I hope. I probably should have read what he just said. Now, hopefully, if I remember this right, I just have to go out and uh, Baito will be here looking for the job. Hello, Prince. Hmm. Maybe I have to leave and come back? Did an island in front of me just disappear? That was weird. What else is on Windfall? Oh, the exotic flower in the shop. Maybe the randomizer removes the part where Baito is, like, walking around out here? Maybe if I go up now, he'll just be working at the mail place. I got to do this, like, in succession, while I still have the skills. I can't lose my mail mojo. There he is! Hey, Baito! Yes, I, I'm wearing green. Yes, I am Ganon. Alright. I'll try, man. I really will. Wasted movement.
<laughs> Legendary. A legend. Alright. Show me the treasure chart. It was all for nothing. <laughs> Alright, 20 feathers. I guess we should do that while we're here. This is the best place to do it. Might as well. In retrospect, I should have gotten the feathers while I was doing uh, the rest of the grinding. They're the one things that I did not get. That still have a check for. I think the best place to go is to just uh, farm the one on the on the in the nest, the bird. Which, thankfully, due to the warp pots, we should be able to get there quickly. Don't mind me. No, get in. Stupid. Get. In! Camera, please! Imagine if getting into those was as bad as getting into the graves in Ocarina. Alright, now where's the nest? Do I need to go further? I remember it's relatively low. In fact, I think this might be a way out. No, not quite. Could ride that thing up down there. I don't remember where that goes though. Goes up high. That's probably good. Oh, it goes into this room. This this is where I farmed the joy pendants. But you know what? Maybe that's good, because this leads right outside. I think it's higher than we want to be, though. Yeah, this is just below the top. Can we talk to Valu? Is he just hanging up, hanging out up here now? We did beat this temple. We we beat the boss. What? No, I already got this. Why is this still active? I didn't want this, I just wanted to talk to a dragon. This doesn't sound like GameCube music. This sounds like Paper Mario 64 music. Hey! Dragon! What's up? Hey! Let me 
He's not much of a conversationalist. Maybe I'll just backtrack from here. Going down should be easier than going up. The things I go through just to find a bird. Oh, this is this room. Man, you're telling me this was already too far? I just need to backtrack from the blue pot. Was that all I needed to do? That was all I needed to do. It was just two rooms back. There you get your feathers. Maybe this will be faster. Debatable. I bet a hit from that bird would damage me more than this fall does. Zelda games have always been very forgiving on- well, the 3D Zeldas have always been very forgiving on the uh, damage scale. You take no damage in these games from, like, anything. Except Iron Knuckles. The one things the one thing in Zelda 64 that was actually any kind of threat. And that room with the two Dodongos, if you had, like, limited health. That was the nice thing about uh, Majora that gave it at least a little bit of a challenge, is how open world it was. There are places that you could go that you weren't necessarily geared up and prepared for. Hello, Holo. Holo, isn't that the... It's the, the wolf girl. Is that Oh My Goddess? Or, no, it's not Oh My Goddess. Uh, what is that series? I should know this. I'm drawing a blank. Where's the pot? Oh, I walked right past it. I gotta look this up. This is gonna bother me. Spice and Wolf. That was it. That's what Holo is from. Holo is from. Holo. Hello. I'm back. The sequence must have been so confusing from the perspective of, of those, uh, those Bokoblins. Alright. Who wants feathers? Someone here wants feathers. Hosket. Hosket. Maybe Hoskit has the fully awakened Master Sword. Maybe they've got the light arrows. No, you're not.
you're not Hostkit. Do you know Hostkit? Are you Hostkit? Hey! No? Okay. Anyone know a Hostkit? You know me, right? Hey, it's Hostkit! Yeah, check it out. Here, I got your feathers. Hostkit, please. Hmm. It's a better reward than the male guy, but still, man. Nothing. Nothing on Dragon Roost. There are five locations accessible now. Uh, there's that big octo to the north. Again, I'd like to save it for the, the light arrows, if possible. Outset Island. Uh, the black soil that I am not certain if I got or not. I'm gonna, let's go to Forsaken Fortress. There might be a few things there. Hello, Prince. Oh good, there is a warp point for Forsaken Fortress. I don't think that's in the vanilla game. Which is obnoxious because the closest point, Mother and Child Isles, is not really a warp point. Oh, I need to, I never busted in. I need to break in here. Yes. Okay. Alright, we gotta fight Phantom Ganon, and I believe that will unlock the rest of the fortress. Where you at? There he is, there's my boy. What a missed opportunity to have a Phantom Ganon skin for Ganon and Smash. Whiffed. Well, this will be easier because I'm not supposed to have the Master Sword by this point of the game. Much less the Half Awakened Master Sword. I guess... Well, it says the, the Master Sword is required for this, so... Maybe I do have the Master Sword by this point. I don't remember. Yeah, because you fight him your second time here in the Forsaken Fortress. Your first time, you're just sneaking around. Forsaken Fortress Compass. That is not as useful as I thought it would be. So what do I need for the rest of this place? Uh, the skull hammer is what I'm still missing. Well, that was not as helpful as I hoped it would be. Can I really not get anywhere without the skull hammer? I know, obviously, I'm not supposed to do that, but like this door doesn't go anywhere. Are 
I guess it only goes to places that are also, uh, also blocked off by the skull hammer. All right, let's, uh, I guess let's go look for the ghost ship. And if that, not that, then, uh, I might have to take out that big octo. Maybe it has the light mm. arrows. That's entirely possible. I wanted to see if I could uh, just one-shot a big octo with the light arrows, but we might not have that luxury. Alright, where's my ghost ship chart? Alright, right now it is on the double islands. Which one is that? Oh, oh, it tells me. That's very convenient. What a nice feature that I think is... I think that's randomizer. I don't know for sure. I think I've always just, like, used a guide for the ghost ship. This, I believe, is Mother and Child Isle. What is that? Oh, that's the that's the Windfall Lighthouse. I lit that. Look, it works and everything. That's neat. Alright, ghost ship, where you at? I know you're around here. There you are. Very spooky. Quartzy man's the helm. I don't think there's anything... Yeah, there's a fight in here. Alright. Get him! <clears throat> now, I don't have the mirror shield, so these guys are a little bit more of a pain to deal with. Come here. Come here, Mr. Poe. What a meager ghost ship. It's just two ghosts. And a wizard. I wonder how the wizard found his way here. Oh, okay, mirror shield. That's a... Technically a progression item. I don't think it's a great one. I can do stuff in the Earth Temple now. All right, well, that's, uh, that's a lead. I still need the skull hammer to do a lot of stuff in the Earth Temple, though. All right, well, where, where was that? I know I've been in the Earth Temple. Was it uh, Headstone Island? I haven't been to the Wind Temple yet. 
That one, I think, is behind the... That's the one behind the blowing wind place that I need the skull hammer to break into. God, I hope I don't have to go into that place. That is my least favorite dungeon in the game. I don't really love any of them, but that one's especially bad. Escort mission with Makar. Constantly having to change characters. What's over here? Angular Isles. There's a cave that I can do with the mirror shield. There's a cave that I could have done before, actually. No, no, I need the mirror shield. Probably because there's Pose to fight there. Maybe. But this could have a number of checks. Aside from just the final two items, the sword and the light arrows, the skull hammer is the big thing blocking us from a lot of the game. That's like the last major item. We could also get the last, the third pearl, and I think that would give us access to the Tower of the Gods, but hopefully we don't have to do that. As few dungeons as possible. That is my goal. Hello, Moblins. Don't mind me, just passing through. Earth Temple, what can I do? End of Foggy Room with Floor Masters. Kill all Floor Masters in Foggy Room. Not this Foggy Room, I gotta do a different Foggy Room. Uh, okay. So now that I have the mirror shield, I can open this. Yes. Well, that opens down that way. No, I have to use the... I need the skull hammer to get into that room on the right. What a, what a weird-looking mirror shield. I'm gonna guess that's also based off something in Breath of the Wild that I am unfamiliar with. Down, down, middle, right, left, middle. What a happy tune to be paired with the, temp the temple of, like, dirt and death. The Crypt Temple has a lively little Irish jig. Uh-oh. I didn't mean to do a do a glide like that. I thought I need medley for this. Nope. Alright, what can we do here? I don't have the key I need for that. So, either of these two doors. 
I don't want to lose you, Medley. This this looks like the foggy room. Yep, this is a foggy room. I remember this is weird, because you'd think it would only have one item, but it has two for some reason. Now, how am I going to kill these guys? Do I need, uh... I might... Maybe I can still use arrows without my sword. No, get out. No, I can't use my arrows. I can't use anything while I'm cursed. Will this lift the curse smoke? All right, small key. End of foggy room. Earth temple. Small key. That didn't open anything. We really we're we're hurting for that skull hammer. No, why? Stop hiding! Pain in the ass enemy! There must be a better way to beat these guys, because this is so cumbersome. Six arrows? This is one of those totally optional items you would never have any reason to find out about. Like, these things are such a pain to kill that in any normal playthrough you would never, like, go out of your way to kill them all in this room. Alright, another small key. Okay, that opened a few things. We can get a little more out of this temple with two keys. Hello, Darian. I got the mirror shield. I bought one more stage of sword from Beetle. So we're now short the final sword and light arrows. And we're running out of places to look. Just got done streaming Brawlhalla. Oh, grab it. There we go. My bad. Light source in this room? There must be if they have pose in here. Although I guess they're also defeated by like possessing me and then disappearing. In the most technical sense. Come on, get inside me. No? There must be something I can do in here.
I hope I don't need the hammer to, like, do it, is the, is the thing. Uh, did I spend my key in the wrong place? There was a key door earlier, I just remembered. Ow. I remember this, but I think I need the hammer to, like, get the light that I need. Like, that's not going to do anything for me yet. Well, hopefully I can go back to the previous locked door and still have enough to, uh get those other couple items. Hmm. Nothing here, is there? Man, I can't... I can't wind wake. Hold on. Medley, I need you to go on, a, on an adventure. I need you to explore. What's over here, Medley? It's a bubble. Okay. Awesome. Run, Medley, run! Run, Medley, run! Wow, that bubble went far. Oh, I did- that's right, we didn't look at his new sword. It just- it kind of looks like just a slightly bigger version of the previous one. Alright, locked door. I should have gone here. Now, hopefully the randomizer is programmed such that, uh... You need two doors, two keys for this to be in logic, in case you waste, like, a key on the other door, which I did. Look at Ganon. All right. I feel like I'm playing a lot more solo medley than I would in the vanilla version of this dungeon. Not that this is, like, any different from the vanilla version. Just happenstance, really.
Where are all these openings? Are these just like holes coming out from the top of the... It was, it was just like a, a small mountain. On the top. So logically, I should be able to like fly up there as a bird and see little holes that are now open. Now, what else can I do in this room? Are there items? I do have 666 rupees. In current events, a high schooler was hired to uh, draw a mural on a middle school wall. And parents are mad because uh, they drew some Genshin Impact character or something. And parents are saying it's satanic. It's evil. It's all the Satanism in the anime. I got baited. Jabated. Jar full of fairies. We've got two more items that we have current access to. There's a light source. Hey! Hey! Oh, nope, don't fall. You know what? They're ignoring me. Solo medley time. Medley's gonna get in on the action. She's gonna help in combat. That's right, Medley's gonna have a, a combat purpose in a game that's not Hyrule Warriors. Aim further down. Is that the furthest you can go? up here. Chest behind statues. That's an item. Please be the skull hammer. I think progression items are in spiky chests, unfortunately. Yeah, it's red chew jelly. What's in here? Anything? I think this might be where the crypt we want to we want to invade is. All right, Medley, I'm gonna have you uh, hop down here. Easy does it. No, this isn't where we want to go. This is just the way back. Bloopy. Those enemies didn't just respawn, did they?
This is a cool mechanic. I like the idea of this dungeon. It'd just be nicer if you didn't have to change characters all the time. Or if you could change characters in a way that was faster than playing a song on your on your stupid stick. The Legend of Zelda, the wind stick. So if I still had the other key, I could get in there. It would seem logic has not put anything in there. Although it would have been nice to, uh... Would have been nice to get in there. Why, why immune to sword? You should have been cut. Ah, heart piece. Well, this was a this was one big bust. They got they gotta they gotta wake up first. I have to see the reds of their eyes. Why no? That should not interrupt my swing. Gravity is still in effect. I'm still falling. All right, well, that's all that we can do here without the skull hammer. Or any more keys, which are likely locked behind the skull hammers. Where was a pot at? I think it was in the previous room. So where else can we go? I guess I'm going to those. Uh, I'm go. I'm going back to Minecraft Island. Be safe, Medley. I'm trusting you not to die. This is the first time a pot appears in this dun in this dungeon. I guess it's early enough. You think it would be in this room? Enemies are very dogged in this game. They chase you way longer than they do in the uh, 64 games. Fortunately, the Angular Isles are very close. No, well, pretty close. Let's see, four locations accessible. There's that. There's the pig that we were unsure of on Windfall, on uh, Outset. There's the exotic flower, which again I thought was disabled with the set with the settings I have, but if we run out of other things to do, we might have to do it. The uh, shop item quest. I disabled a uh, long side quests, which that was supposed to be among them because it would disable the. The Korok tree quest is the big thing that I did not, absolutely did not want in this randomizer. Because that just sucks to do. Alright, Minecraft cave. Please be the skull hammer. Oh man, are we hurting for that. Uh, 
This is a very weird, unintuitive puzzle for a Zelda game, this room. But I bet there, this is something that a lot of kids just never figured out. Not a spiky chest. That's not good. Great. Garbage. Garbage. All right, off to the big octo. I wanted to save it for when we had light arrows to try, but, uh, that's not happening. I- I will- I will fight that big octo before I will do the shop quest. We're going north. On one final Octo hunt. We gotta wipe them out. Like Sasquatches in Red Dead. This is the final big Octo. They won't be there won't be any more in the entire world of Zelda after this. Oh, I should have done this at night. That's when the uh, that's when the seagulls circle. You know what? I can still make that happen. All right, seagulls, where are you at? I'm gonna wager the bottom left is the empty emptiest part of the map, so that's probably where it's hanging out. Possibly. Maybe not. Octo? Where are you at? Did I kill it already? I've asked that question before, and I don't think it's ever turned out that I killed one and forgot about it. But if this is, like, a, a important progression item, that would be the way to know for sure. Well, it definitely was not an important progression item. Oh, wait. I saw birds, I think. No? Maybe? Maybe not? I see birds, but those are just the birds that hang around the island. Whoop. 
Maybe I just didn't go far enough to the bottom left. Oh, bird, seagulls, yes! Is this the hardest one? This might be old 12 I. Bombs take out the eyes in one shot. Boomerang take, takes three hits, but you can hit five at once, so overall... It's considered, like, the best means for just taking these guys down quickly. And it often hits extra eyes on the way to and fro, so... You just kind of have, have to move your stick around, and it'll just... It'll hit things on its own. You don't gotta aim or nothing. Din's Pearl would not be as good, but it would get... It would open a dungeon. Something good. Please, something good. I'm out of leads. I don't want to do the shop item. The, sh the shop quest. shop quest. There's only two things that are left unchecked. It's the it's the shop item and the the pig on Windfall, which I am pretty sure I did. I'm just I have it unchecked because I'm not one hundred percent positive. Alright. What is it? Zunari. Zunari, exotic flower. This is this is a whole sequence. I, I'm going to have to look this up. All right. Well, this is another thing that this is one of the only other things in the game that is good to have rupees for because this this can cost rupees. This quest. Okay, I need to go to Bomb Island. There we go. That is our first stop. What's the other thing? Cabana deed. We have access to the cabana. I guess we just can't do anything there. I do have that checked off, don't I? Yeah, I have that. I wonder what we still need to do stuff at the cabana. Oh, the skull. Of course, the skull hammer. We can't open the switches under the cabana. Mail items are junk, but I'll check it anyway because it's a wiggler. And nobody loves to wiggle. I probably should have checked this after I spent some money. Alright, treasure chart. Didn't matter. Hello, Aiden Zelda. Let's see. Bomb Island.
I don't know if you've been to this stream before, if you've been following at all. I am currently out of leads. And the only thing I have left to check is a quest that I thought was removed from this randomizer seed. All right, where are you, Mr. Goron? Sorry, nondescript sea trader. Where is he? Is he on the island itself? There he is. Oh, well, thank you for the follow, Aiden. I was hoping to finish this today. I don't know if that's going to happen. Technically, we only need two more items. However, once we get any more progression items, a lot of checks could open up. The skull hammer is going to open so many things. Oh no, this isn't as bad as I thought. I was thinking of the uh, the final reward for this trade quest is like uh, like a shopkeeper statue or something. The exotic flower is only like the uh, the third item in this quest, so we just have to do this. No! Oh, that was almost bad. Yes, exotic flower, that's what we need. Alright, back to Windfall for reward. Which is hopefully the skull hammer. Please, oh please. I thought he wanted a picture of the moon, but maybe he doesn't give you anything in the randomizer. Alright, what do you got? Maggie's letter. Okay, I know what I have to do with this. I don't think I need to be here yet. Hmm. So that unlocks one check. We still there's still hope. This could lead to the skull hammer. So I need to put this in the mailbox. And then in the vanilla game. This is where the letter from the the Moblin is sent back. Oh. 
I can never remember the notes in this game because they make no sense. Why is the bottom higher than the top? All right, so the the Moblin sends the letter back, but the father won't take it from the postman. So the postman comes to the bar here to complain about it. And he says, hey, you take this, you deliver it. Except in our version, it's not going to be the Moblin's letter. It's going to be a skull hammer. Where's the mailman? Maybe I need to walk in on the, uh, on the failed delivery before the mailman will show up here. I like the Windfall Island music. Yeah. I like all the Koji Kondo tracks in this game. Just not so much. The, the battle music is the main, like, weak point of Wind Waker. Alright, hello. Just, uh... Friendly Gerudo, overhearing this conversation. You just don't understand. No one understands. Alright, ang angry postman is gonna go chill. <laughs> to the bar! I say I like the Koji Kondo music. A lot of the tracks like this one and the Windfall are just like remixes of previously existing Zelda tracks. Alright, Skullhammer. We finally got it. Alright. Let's see how much this opens up. One location is accessible. 33 locations accessible. There are now 32 more places that we can look now that we have the fucking skull hammer. What a nice gift that Moblin gave to- Imagine I delivered that to Maggie. She'd be so happy. I'm not. I'm not going to. I'm going to keep it because I need it, but... It's a very heartfelt gift from Mo the Moblin. It's so important, I'm gonna save right now. Oh, it's so good to finally have that. Now, unfortunately, a lot of those checks are in dungeons. Now, here's the question. Would I rather go to a dungeon, or would I rather do, like, the private oasis? Thorn Fairy Island. Shark Island. Western Fairy Island. Where can I warp to? I'm gonna go around islands. I really don't want- I want to avoid dungeons. I don't like dungeons. And man, we didn't even have to get that, uh, we still could have saved that big octo. I guess now we'll never know if Light Arrows will one-shot the Big Octos. Except by just looking up some other person who tried that, which I'm sure there are probably many. Alright, where is this? Shark, Shark Island. So called, because it's an island that looks like a shark. Hmm. 
Hmm. Hope these aren't on a timer. You just put all the switch types on this island, just to make sure you have everything. Are they on a timer? Oh, that would suck. I gotta cut the grass. I have to cut the grass in order to see. <sighs> They're on a timer. I guess. I can't lift this rock, can I? Oh! Nope. What does this say? Okay. Well, I have to activate them swiftly. How swiftly is swiftly? Because I gotta walk all the way over there. No! Don't hit the tree, Ganon! Okay. That was swiftly enough. That's good. A slightly annoying island. Alright, what's in this cave? Is this a battle? This looks like a battle. What am I fighting? Just you guys? You get the hammer. I want the weapon. Give me this. I think I can break his armor doing that. Yeah, there it goes. Love this thing. As long as he doesn't have a shield, I'm good. Now it's a fight! Hold on. Get pick it up, Ganon. Those guys hurt. It's just a clusterfuck of enemies. That's this whole island. One shot. I want to carry one of these around with me. And I want to not drop it when I take damage.
Oh, this one's got a shield. What are you doing? Oh, he's stuck on the on the little orb. I hope I'm just supposed to, like, keep fighting them. I'm not supposed to, like, hit a switch or something like last time. They just keep coming, though. This has to be the end. There's three iron knuckles. Or three dark nuts. Give me my spear. I'll take one of these, too. This'll work. Except against a shield, it won't work. Put down your shields! Ah, I can't even, like, disarm their shields. There's nothing I can do to get rid of them. I could do without the, like, quick time buttons, the A button things, but... Even without those, the combat in this game is definitely more dynamic than the 64 ones. So anyway, this room was a gigantic waste of time. I don't even need any more spoils, really. There's no reason for me to be getting these, but... I can't just leave them sitting there. It's free real estate. Alright, where else can we go? We can go to Private Oasis, we can go to Thorned Fairy Island. You would think by this topography that Hyrule was a much more mountainous place than was suggested to us in previous games. Stormy at the, at the oasis. It's a good thing our ship is sentient. If it wasn't, we'd have to, like, anchor it and shit. It's nice to not have to do that. Alright, 
show our, this weird door our cabana deed. Yes, we own you now. Into the dark secrets of Miss Marie. The sewers full of rats and dead people under her home. Sure, it's nothing to worry about. So, uh, Darian pointed out to me that the Zelda Ocarina of Time PC port is pretty much complete. So there's now a 60 FPS version of Ocarina of Time on PC with lots of uh, quality of life features. 60 plus FPS. You can set it to whatever FPS you want. And so I now ha it also includes a built-in randomizer. So I now have a few options for what I want to do for this winter's Ocarina of Time randomizer run. I have that, or the other option was the, uh... We found a multi-game randomizer. Which sounds just crazy, but apparently it's able to mix around items from different games together. I mean, like Zelda, like Ocarina of Time, Mario 64, Hollow Knight. It's an absurd list of games that are compatible with this like, third-party program. And I have no idea how it works. I need to, like, uh... I need to look into that and maybe do a test run with someone. Just to get a grasp on it. Hello. Okay, I'll just... I'll leave you alone, Mr. Rat. All right, there's one chest. All right, we uh, we have our full sword. What's it look like? Same? Yeah, okay. So there's just one Master Sword model for Ganon. I guess it just, it glows when it's at full power. So the only thing we're now missing to beat the game is the light arrows. I get, well, now I kind of feel obligated to try to do this in this one stream. Because I don't want to have to come back for another stream just for it to end in, like, 15 minutes. I'm going to find the light arrows immediately. There's two chests down here. I imagine that's where... The, our last items were. Both the light arrows and the master, the fully awakened master sword were just under the cabana the whole time. It's possible. Why are the only enemies down here rats? I don't necessarily- okay, spoke too soon. I'm gonna smash the dead. We're gonna Dark Souls this shit. Is, is there a hammer in Dark Souls? Swing it!
Ganondorf wielding the Master Sword versus a common rat. What did it think was going to happen? Alright, light arrows. Come on, this is gonna be it. It's a spike chest. What? Th that might not be... That, that could be them. Uh, light ring chart. Why is that? That's not a progression item. Why is that in a spiky chest? I don't understand this randomizer. Who needs this much of a sewer underneath the island? This seems like a, a bit much for one person. She didn't need to build all that. So we can access Ganon's tower. Apparently. Yeah, because that's just under Hyrule. Man, what if what if the lighters are in Ganon's tower? Sorry, my tower. It'd be a dick move. Not impossible, though. <laughs> Ganon's oasis. All right. Uh, well, you know what? Since we can warp there, let's go back to. Actually. I'll check that fairy island since we're kind of nearish. Then I'll go to Forsaken Fortress just because that's not too hard to navigate. It's a fairly simple dungeon compared to the others. It is statistically improbable, but technically possible that the light arrows are in Ganon's tower. Part of me wants to, like, go there and check just to be totally sure I'm not going to waste my time on all these other stuff things. Maze chest, where even is that? I don't remember Ganon's Tower other than... I don't remember there's a boss rush in it. Which we don't have to worry about because it's disableable in the randomizer. What a lazy thing to put in a game, a boss rush. Just recycle content. The definition of padding. Is this the right place? Yeah, it's Thorn Fairy Island. Having three of these seems excessive. Really, you could have achieved the same effect with just one hammer switch. Oh, great fairy. Please bestow upon me your wisdom and also the light arrows. That is not the light arrows. I'm now a fairy atheist. You don't exist if I don't believe in you. Hello, Sandy. I'm curious. That's right. Part of the PC Ocarina of Time is a free camera, which I'm sure will be very similar to this or any other game with a free camera. Like, it'll be cool because it's in Ocarina of Time, but you'll, you'll get used to it very quickly. It's just kind of expected to be in games. Uh, 
All right, where else am I going? I could go to Western Ferry Island. All right, I'll, I'll clear out my Great Sea checks before I go to Forsaken Fortress. Because it's nearby. String theory is real. Like the One Piece. I asked someone what the the impetus was behind the recent One Piece memes, and I got like three different answers. Which leads me to believe it's just like, whatever the origin is, it turned into just people screaming it at each other for the sake of it, and then just everyone was screaming it back and forth. And there wasn't really any joke to it. Other than, I, I guess that people... It, it was screen caps of people, like, screaming and crying in one piece, so... I guess that's not really any more of a joke than, like, over 9,000 was... You know, back in the day. This game needs night music. Badly. I wonder if any Castlevania games are in that, uh, in the list of games that are compatible with the multi-game randomizer. If there are, it's probably Symphony of the Night. That's unfortunately the only one a lot of people care about. I don't believe in you. Change my mind. No. Great fairies aren't real. I'd heard that. It, I'd, I'd heard that it originated with, like, One Piece dick edits. But only one of the three people I asked seemed to know about that, so... I feel like it quickly blew up into people just shouting it at each other, and not knowing that it originated from dick edits. They were just shouting One Piece, and that was the whole joke. Game randomizer. Maybe I can find this. Archipelago. Is that it? Yeah, multi-world game randomizer. Supported games. Let's just let's look into this while I'm uh, while I'm raiding. You know the the evil bad guy lair. Maximum security. Dark Souls three. What? Donkey Kong Country three. Could put Nick on that. Factorio. Final Fantasy 1, Hollow Knight, Link to the Past, Risk of Rain 2, Raft, Rogue Legacy, Minecraft, Meritus? I don't know what Meritus is. How do, you, how do you get Minecraft in to a randomizer? Risk of Rain 2, Rogue Legacy, Secret of Evermore, Slay the Spire. The Super Metroid Link to the Past crossover randomizer. 
is one of the things that can be randomized into this multi-game randomizer. Sonic Adventure 2, StarCraft 2, Subnautica, Mario 64, Super Metroid, Time Spinner, V V V V V V V The Witness. What a complete what a arbitrary series of games that this thing works with. Some of which don't even seem like they would be suited to a randomizer period. All right, what what are the what are the Forsaken Fortress items? There's only 5 of them. Chest guarded by Bokoblin. Is the dungeon map. All right. Does it, like, gleam every time I pull it out? It does. Let's see, there's a lower jail cell, an upper jail cell, and a chest on a bed. Y'all see any beds? I don't remember any collectibles even being in V V V V V V V V six. I played that. I don't even remember being that difficult. It was just a very short platforming game where the gimmick was inverting gravity. If it does work, I, like, the, the cross-game thing could be a very cool group stream. It just, it would pretty much require everyone recording, though. Because otherwise we have, like, a whole game with no footage of it. And it'd be very weird to watch the video back. That's kind of what makes it interesting, though. Hello. This is a, this is a room with beds. Well, beds in the loosest sense. I would not, as a compassionate warden, define any of these wooden planks as beds. All right, now I just need the two jail cells. Well, that's a chess. Is this? Yeah, there's a jail cell. All right. It's probably not a decent item given the style of the chest, but all right, wallet. No, it does. It's not a progression item at all. I don't think we need rupees anymore, so. Now, is there anything in here? Open. Is there a chest in there? There's an upper and lower jail cell. So either this is the upper jail cell, or it's the one, like, at the top of the place where Errol and the girls were held.
Now we just need to find out how to get higher. Can we get any higher? What non-threatening spotlights? I, oh no, they're gonna send Bokoblins after me. Not even Bokoblins. What are these things called? Where am I going? Let, let's look around with our eyes. I want to go over there. Let's go over there. Wait a minute. V V V V V V V. W W W. Doctor Wiley is behind that game. It's a bit of a reach. Well, it's been a while since we did a Battle Network game. We're on 4, which is the first one that I will be blind to. I've never played past 3. However, with the uh, collection now announced and coming out... Just wait for that, and we'll do, like, an updated, enhanced version. Although I think it's still... It's 2023, so it's... Uh, we got some months yet, if not a year. Now, remember the first time we were here? And we, like, couldn't get noticed or fight these guys at all? I can just get, ignore them. They're non-threats. Oh, gee, went through the door. Guess he's gone. Mini blends. They're such inconsequential enemies. I don't know if they ever. Do they even come back? I'm pretty sure there are mooks on the Wind Waker maps in Hyrule Warriors, but. Uh, like, are they in Breath of the Wild or anything? I didn't disable the spotlights, but do I need to? Is the question. Am I gonna get shot for this? I don't hear any cannon fires. Oh. Yeah, I, I see you. I see that you see me, Spotlight. What are you gonna do about me? Oh, they are firing. Shit. Alright. I can't half-ass it. I gotta take out the Spotlights. Man. They'll fire cannons at me if I'm on the wall if I'm on the wall, but down here they'll just send mini blends after me. It's such a completely different level of threat. I guess I could also just take out the cannons. Is that an option? Maybe not. This place reminds me so much of the, uh, the fortress area in Jack and Daxter. Get up. The Lurkers, that's what they were called. Which kind of resemble Ganon's army in this game. The Moblins and such. I feel like in most other games, I would have to, like, pull a lever or something to properly disable the spotlights. In this game, fortunately, they just, uh, they just deactivate as soon as the guard is not actively manning them. 
It's got like a safety trigger. How am I getting over there? Is there a ladder? No, there's not a ladder over here. Is there any good way to get up from here? Maybe it was presumptuous of me to say that this was the shortest and easiest dungeon. Yeah, not worth it. It doesn't even bother keeping the combat music on. Like, those guys just give up on you. Ganon's got an army of quitters. What are the most tenacious enemies in video games? Probably something like Resident Evil or Silent Hill, right? Like Pyramid Head, and any of those guys who chase you no matter what door you go through, no matter what room you're in, they have a chance to appear. Zelda games and a lot of, a lot of similar games like this, enemies just... Stop acknowledging you. Like, there's no mention that, oh, someone is, like, still actively in the base. Red alert. I, ca I can't get back up again, can I? Even in something like Metal, Ge Metal Gear, that's supposed to be, like, realistic amongst video games. Guards will just lose sight of you and then forget you they ever saw you. It doesn't increase the number of guards or... Uh... Like, there's no consequence for getting... spotted. Save for some missions. Some missions you get spotted in, like, Metal Gear and the just mission's over. You can't get spotted at all. But most of the time... It's very forgiving for a stealth game. <laughs> That's a series we've never done on stream, is Metal Gear. I don't think we ever will, but... Uh... I've watched playthroughs of them. I enjoy the lore of the Metal Gear series. As stupid as it is, that's kind of why I enjoy it. I guess Metal Gear is, is very similar to JoJo, in that the creator does really obviously stupid, mimetic, crazy things just for the sake of it. No, They know that it's just going to get people talking. That's why they do it. Kojima loves being weird for the sake of it, just like... Araki, the JoJo author. What a crossover that would be. The Hakka from Prince of Persia. Never really got to play Metal Gear Solid. Honestly, I find it more fun to watch than to play. Not that they're bad games. You, you might have fun playing them. Depends on what kind of games you like. I think the, the writing is definitely the more... The writing in the cutscenes is definitely the more interesting part compared to the gameplay. Because the gameplay is more or less just a stealth game. With lots and lots of cutscenes. I just went up here again before I disabled all the spotlights. I'm still missing some spotlights. I think. Maybe I disabled enough of them. They just get vaporized by the fully awakened Master Sword. 
Just gone. Why can't I go in here? What possible explanation is there for me not being able to enter this gaping opening? Yeah, Kojima really just wants to make movies. You, you can tell watching any of the Metal Gear games. Which I think he is doing now. I think he's making a movie. Don't quote me on that. Are you aware of uh, the differences between the original Metal Gear Solid and the GameCube re-release, Darian? Twin Snakes? They uh, somewhat infamously just hammed up all of the cutscenes with completely on it. They Michael Bayed it. They added so many instances of unnecessary slow motion, Snake doing superhuman flips. I think in one of the fights, he jumps off of a missile, deflecting it back to a helicopter that was not in the first, in the original version of that scene. It's just maximum schlock in Twin Snakes, for better or for worse. All right, hello, Mr. Bird. Did someone ruffle your feathers? Wait, how am I getting out? I'm, I'm supposed to, I'm not supposed to start here. I'm supposed to start on like this side of the room. Also, is this not the cell? I, this was where the girls were at. Maybe not, maybe it's higher up. I need to find the treasure chest. Nope. I'll get a closer look at the Helmrock King once we are fighting proper. He seems to have a very interesting color scheme in this version. Hello. It's Phantom Helmarok King. It's all black and purple. He's a little heartlessy. I do like this boss fight. This is one of the better boss fights, I feel. Hey, eat arrows. He's just a giant chicken. I really wonder how powerful light arrows are. Because they one-shot every ordinary enemy. So I wonder how much they do to, uh, to bosses. Just dodge with a jump attack somehow. I say it's a good boss fight. It's a lot of it's a lot of waiting. Maybe I'll retract my statement. It's a lot of Nintendo boss standing around and waiting for obvious opening that is obvious.
Come on. Land. Stupid chicken. No! Do your stupid... finish you in the sky. I want you to know that you used your full power and I still beat you. Where are you going, you stupid bird? What the it what is it? I've given it brain damage. Alright, what is the Helmarok King heart container? Come on, light arrows. It's a treasure chart. This isn't the upper cell, is it? No, this is like, this is Ganon's bachelor pad up here. Yeah, I just, I got kicked out. So upper, where's the upper jail cell? Or the lower jail cell, I guess. There's still one more chest here that I haven't gotten. Is this a map? I could use one of those. I don't think these gents are going to let me have a look, though. Just Oct Rock hanging out in the water. I don't think I went through here because the hand stopped me. Maybe this is the way to the lower jail cell. No, this is the way to the beds. Which, I've been in here. I've, I've been out here. This goes back outside to where Phantom Ganon was. I think. No? It was just a cliff. Alright. How can a circle be so confusing? So that room where I started the fight with the Helmrock King was the room where the arrow and such were held hostage, which I had assumed was the upper jail cell is talking about. I guess I'll just do a, a complete circuit of the lower level and one of the upper level. Oh, 
Hello. Is this place new? Oh, hey, here we go. Progression item. Never mind. Purple rupee. Man. Let me just get out the window. I want to leave this place. I'm mad. Take one for the road. Now, do I call it here and go for another stream of this, or do I keep pushing? I have more time today. I could go into another dungeon and hope that we find the light arrows. At which point, I would pretty much have to commit to finishing this game today. There's still 37 locations in the game that have not been checked, 29, 24 of which are currently accessible to me. Alright, we're done here, Ganon Boat. Let's leave. Where are we going? Uh... There's the Earth Temple, there's the Wind Temple. I don't want to go to the Wind Temple. Let's go back to the Earth Temple. In fact... There's a feature added in this randomizer. Let me see if it's where I think it is. Because I remember seeing it. Here it is. We have special pots that go between dungeons. Crazy, right? Oh, hey, Medley's here. I'm glad you survived. <sighs> Chests behind destructible walls. You guys are annoying. Get out of here. I just want to be extra sure there's nothing behind these. No, just magic. Alright, come on, Medley. I guess I can look on the map for, uh... Look on the map for tre treasure chests. Well, now we can finally do this entire dungeon. Again, one of the less offensive dungeons. I don't. I, despite the escort aspect, I don't mind the gimmick or anything. There's a light source. Is it up here? That that jingle reminds me of something, and I can never remember what exactly it is. What are you? I've learned not to trust the outward appearances of chests. Transparent chest in first crypt has a small key. Hmm. Alright, Medley. I don't want to mess with them, so uh, you're on your own. Here we go!
Oh no, she's fine. She can take a hit. Maybe I shouldn't fly. Maybe I should just run. Birds are good at running. Maybe not. No, it's a, it's a sequence of notes. Put a bird in a cage. I need her. Stupid hand. Alright. Now stay put. That's not a promising chest. Rupees. It's all right, we can move through this quickly. Medley, where are you? Oh, she went back to the cage, didn't she? No, she said, okay, she's fine. She just walked back to the front of the room. The skulls didn't bother her because I wasn't around. Did I clear out everything on this branch? No, that's like a sitar. That does sound like, uh... It's the same instrument from, like, Shifting Sandland. Nope. I don't want her near those. No, why did you... Her wings clipped the wall. Those are what didgeridoo. This is a very strange temple music track. Did I get everything in here? Yes, I did. I have a key here now. Medley, why you no come with? It's safer in here than out there. Where'd she go? She just vanished. Alright, Stalfos mini-boss room. I think this is our... Is this our first Stalfos of the game? No, we fought some in a... In, on like an island dungeon previously. You know what? I have the hammer now. Goes way faster with the Master Sword. Now I have one of these. Let me mace you. Be emaciated. Let's 
spiked chest. As if that still means anything. Rupee. They swore on the Discord the chest was supposed to, like, mean something. It doesn't. It means lies is what it means. Oh, this is where the mirror shield was in the vanilla game. Weird looking sun switches in this game. I wonder why that needs its own, like, full loading zone. Maybe they need to do something special to make sure that uh, Medley doesn't follow you into that room. Medley, we gotta go! We're in a hurry here! Hand! Check both of these sides. Now I can go down here. Chest in third crypt. Climb up, Link. Sorry, Ganon. Ganon has lost a few feet. Is there anything over here? I don't remember. Oh, it's this room. Nope. Don't need to go back there. I hate how much climbing on blocks I have to do in this dungeon. There's a couple places with stairs. I like those places. I need more stairs in this dungeon. Alright, so, if the light arrows are in this dungeon, we will finish the game today. If we completely clear out this dungeon and they're not here, I will probably do another stream of this. It'll probably, be, probably be, end up being a short stream. Light, where the light beam is not showing for some reason. Wait, wait, no, I, I didn't want to call her. That is a lovely call noise, though. Yes, I know that, Medley. Thank you. I know you're trying to be helpful. You are helpful, but... I knew that.
I'm also kind of just running out of things to say. I don't know though I want to finish this game with, uh... I don't know, being so quiet. Not that tired, really. Just kind of gets that way after streaming for a while. And the light arrows would be great to have. There's a lot of annoying enemies. A lot of high health enemies in this dungeon. Stalfos are the worst. Stalfos take forever to kill in Wind Waker. Alright, chest in third crypt is the boss key. Alright, that's good to have. Technically needed that. I'm, may, maybe we won't need it. We'll probably need it. <sighs> Stalfos. Do I have to? What if I just don't? How about we just don't? This is a Stalfos medley. Pretty cool, right? Stalfos will respectfully wait while I play my song with Medley. Skeletons love music. Little known fact. Alright, let's go. What do you think about those Silent Hill announcements? I have no attachment to Silent Hill, so not much. I guess it's nice that Konami is doing things, I guess. Are they doing things? Is that what this means? Well, there's the... There's the boss chamber. Is there anything down here? There's probably... There's something down here. I have to jump down into this. Not into the smoke, but hopefully I don't need to bring Medley down here. Hopefully she'll just wait up at that door. I do need to bring Medley down here. This is... This is the mirror's room. How could I forget about the mirror's room? All of which... For announcement, all of which are being handled by different developers and not in-house. Darian, are you suggesting that Konami is not making games? Is that what I'm to understand? Medley, get up there. Medley, you idiot. Now, if I enter a concussed medley, will I feel the concussion? Nah, she's fine. You know, I never even considered that uh, medley's name was a musical term. It's spelled with an I, it's not spelled like, you know, M-E-D-L-E-Y. Alright, time for block puzzles. I say that, but I actually like this room, it's a cool room. Alright, what are you? Light arrows? Are you the light arrows? Please be light arrows. Light arrows? It's a jackal. It looks like a jackal. That chest has a jackal in it. Jackal? It's a treasure chart. It's even worse than rupees. 
its potential rupees that won't be realized. Because I'm not going after the stupid treasure charts. Block puzzles. <laughs> All right, Medley, I need you. I also don't know how difficult the uh, multi-game randomizer is to set up. It sounds like it could potentially be like a massive headache. Whereas I'm sure PC Ocarina would not be, so. I guess it might partially come down to how lazy I am. That's one of the, uh, one of the mirror sets. Now the other side. What is there scorpions engraved here? What is that representative of? That's not Goma, is it? No. Is it like a Sheikah symbol? This seems like a place that would be, uh, Sheikah associated. Alright, other chest. What are you? Rupees. I wonder when developers are going to start incorporating randomizers into their games. I know a couple indie games have. I don't remember what they are off the top of my head, but... There are just starting to be a small handful of games that are doing that out of the gate. Mm -hmm. It is cool that the uh, Zelda PC port includes a randomizer with it. I'm just curious how in-depth the randomizer is, what features it has, because... All randomizers are inherently made differently. And they could have, like, wildly differing logic as to how they handle the item randomization. Aside from just the features that are included. What are you doing, Ganon? You're doing that weird hand dance. You don't need to do that. Where am I going with this? Just there? That wall? That's all I got? Alright. Do I, do I need the cutscene for every piece of wall? Can it not just be like one wall? Hmm. 
Oh, I guess this whole room is scorpion-themed. I just noticed the shape of the mirrors. What did Miyamoto mean by this? Sorry, Miyamoto's not the, uh, the Zelda guy. Who is the Zelda guy? I always forget his name. Yuji Naka? us huh oh well it's a good thing light filled this room and opened that up because i would have missed that otherwise i was just gonna say i remember there being like an offshoot room medley you're coming with me i don't want you to despawn we're going into the skeleton room together ag Numa, that's the guy Who's Yuji Naka? Can I destroy Skeleton with light? No, Skeleton doesn't care about light. Maybe doing all three at once was a mistake. Oh, that's right. Yuji Naka is a uh, Sega. Sonic. You know what I can do? I can do this. I forgot that worked on them. Now, where'd the skull go? Oh, I guess I got him. Stop rolling, Ganon. Alright. What are you? I'm so tired of being disappointed. But I feel like I'm going, and inevitably going to be. Maybe once I stop expecting the light arrows, that's when I will finally get the light arrows. Or maybe I'll just get another treasure chart. Alright, what's left? The big key chest. I thought I got... No, I didn't get that. That's in the next room. There's two items left in this dungeon. There's whatever's down here, and there's the boss reward. want the hammer. I want, uh... That's what I want. Wait, no, that doesn't work on them? Oh, 
Stop. It's just there to distract my Z-targeting. I hate it. I got your sword now. Who's the big sword man now? Doria, motherfucker. It still looks like a boss key chest. It's a pair, though. I just stole- I just killed that guy and stole his lunch. All right, well, there's only one more thing to check. I really don't want to do the wind dungeon. If it were not the wind dungeon that would was the next best place to check, I would probably just, like, keep going as long as it took to finish this, but... I don't want to go to the wind dungeon today. I could check the Ganon Maze Chest, just to be totally sure that's not the Light Arrows. I don't know how long it would take me to get there. What if I have to get the Maze Chest to get an item that I then need to come back out here to get something in the world, to... For a check in the world, that will be the, uh... The Light Arrows. Did any of what I just said make sense? This is just mean. Couldn't he just put stairs the whole way up? Why you gotta make me do the stupid slow vine climb? No one likes vines in video games. And he's named after vines and he hates them. Also, speaking of vines in video games, you know what I haven't done in a while? Mario Maker. I haven't really made anything new in it or anything, but, uh, might be fun. Darren, you got a Switch? You should get Mario Maker. Of course you have a Switch. You play Smash. Alright. Big Poe Boss. Big Boo. With wacky Zelda. That's the kind of boss music you want in a Zelda game, is wacky. That sounds like it was made for the N64 in the year 2000. Yes, sir, that's what I want my boss music to sound like in premier mainstream next generation Zelda game. I'm sorry if you're tired of me shitting on this game's fight music. I will never stop shitting on this game's awful fight music. It's a shame Nintendo games, like, never go on sale. They do sometimes in, in Europe. Not so much in the US. And if they do, they're very minimal sales. Like, a $60 game might go down to 50 And that's the most you're ever gonna get off. Such a tedious boss. I say after the bird fight. The bird of standing and waiting for the bird to come to you and expose itself. Honestly, much most Zelda bosses are just they're just okay in terms of design. And the ones I like, like Goat, are very divisive. No one else likes them. 
I thought Gyorg was okay. Not great, but... At least it wasn't just, like, standing and waiting for the, the fish to give an obvious opening. It was, it was dynamic. I appreciate that about masked fish. Burn the ghost. The ghost was a mask. This should have been a Majora boss. A pig mask, even. There really was, like, no semblance of Ganon whatsoever in Majora's mask. Not even, like, a, a cheeky little cameo or anything. There didn't even- there weren't even moblins. Yeah, Majora did have multiple ways for each boss. Where's the heart container? Oh, there it is. It is... The dungeon map. Probably should have noticed that I didn't have that yet. Alright. And this is the part where Medley stays down here forever. And we never see her again. Even Gyorg, I know a lot of people... Like, didn't know about using the shield to fight him, or they didn't know about using the arrows. You can stun him with the Zora fins or the arrows. It's more obnoxious, but you could do the entire fight in Zora form if you so chose. You could go down and either use the magic shield, or you could, like, punch him out. Nah, the moon's face isn't again. It looks nothing like him. Alright, well, I... just saved. Against my better judgment, I am going to go to Ganon's tower. Just to confirm that that one item is not the light arrows. And after we've got that one item, or once we've confirmed that that is not they, then the only place left for us to check will be the wind dungeon, which I will come back to next time. So if this is if this one chest in Ganon's castle, if Ganon has the light arrows, we'll finish this today. And it's called the Maze Chest, so I'm sure it'll be very quick and easy to get to. You know what? I'll save here. This is a good place to save. That way I'll remember, I'll remember what I did in the case we come back next time. Lots of moblins and such about. Don't mind me, just passing through. You're tenacious, but you're not that tenacious. I'm gonna walk through this door and you're not gonna follow me. Maybe they don't like sunlight. If it is here, then we could have come here and done this as soon as we got the uh, fully awakened Master Sword. Which, where did we get that? I don't remember where our final Master Sword was. It was under, it was in the cabana. So we wouldn't have had to go back to the Earth Temple at all. We just did that whole temple for nothing. But you know what, I'm still really hoping, because... I don't want to do the Wind Temple. Fuck my car. I don't want to see that little shit ever again. 
but when is my turn to go on an adventure with Ganondorf? Never, you little wood piece of shit. I hate you. Get out of the way. Well, that one actively tried to block my path. He's slightly smarter than every other moblin in the game. Uh, I rule. Beautiful when it's not flooded. Hello, goodbye. Oh no, I got a hook shot. Can I do it quickly enough? Yep, bye! See you later, losers! Is there a pot here? Can I warp to Ganon's dungeon, to Ganon's tower later? Okay, so this is where the boss rush would be. It's disabled, so I don't have to do that. And just waltz on through. Maze chest. Oh, that's the one. Okay. It's not a maze. It's the place where you, uh, you fight Phantom Ganon. Nope. Not fighting you. Goodbye. Y'all are worthless. Trash minions. I should know. You're my minions. Well, this one really is... It's kind of a breeze. With, uh, without the boss rush. Let's see, I believe this... Maybe it is worth saving here, once I do the shortcut to the surface. Hey! Hey! Alright. Uh... So, three, one, four, two. And then the boat appears. Hello, Ganon boat. <laughs> I love his noises in this. Alright, I'll save now that I have that activated. Now, if I enter through here, am I able to get back is the question. I don't think I've ever actually used this portal, because by the time you're at this point of the game, there's never any reason to go back to the overworld. Oh, it's at the Forsaken Fortress. Of course it's at the Forsaken Fortress. Where else would it be? And it's just open forever now. You know, Ganondorf, he closed it every time he used it. Not us, we don't need to close it. How did he get here from Hyrule Castle is my question. Where does this lead? I want to go on a cool river ride. What do? I don't remember what do to make Phantom Ganon appear.
This is where I came in. Oh, and use the door, Ganon. Is there something else I have to do? I guess I'll read the thing. And the thing will tell me what to do. Guide me, thing. Is that it? I just had to read that to trigger the flag to make him appear. No? Is there some kind of bug, or am I actually just missing something? Maybe because I don't have the three pearls? Maze chest. Master sword, full power, hookshot, or deku leaf. So I just need to be able to get here. Uh, hmm. I'm not sure what to do. You can only defeat him with the light arrow. You can only defeat Ganon with the light arrow, but I should be able to, uh... I should be able to do this part. Unless the maze chest is somewhere else. Let me... Uh, last hope. Let, let me check the... Let me ask in the Discord, see if anyone has any ideas. This is just the bosses. There shouldn't be any maze here. Well, this didn't go straight to a boss, so maybe there are things. Maybe there are a series of rooms. Maybe it's just in one of these four rooms, and it's completely arbitrary. That was almost bad. I'm fine. Damage means nothing in this game. Yeah, I need something on that. I need one of the slime guys, I'm sure. Bob and Weave. Silly me, I thought this would be easy.
Come on. God, they gotta be... I, they have to be slimes, too. I gotta wait for them to come to me. Another one? What an annoying, time-consuming room. Alright, and that just goes to the boss, so I don't need to- I don't need to worry about that. That's right, a little brain damage never hurt no one. Couple re-deads. Not gonna worry about those. Stop laughing! Okay. So, the Discord answered my question. I forgot it was the thing you had to do. And it's not at all obvious the thing you have to do. Ready? Yeah, you're supposed to just jump in to what would... You would assume to be a death pit. Man, there wasn't, like, any... Anything even hinting at that. How about you tell me about that? Instead of the sword hilt thing. The sword hilt thing is more obvious than jumping into a bottomless pit. Not enough. Get him. Wake up, Ganon. You must defeat your alter ego. Ganon versus the heartless Ganon. It's Ganon's evil side. His evil side is much bigger. Yeah, I probably had to look up that you jump into that hole every single time I've played this game. There's no way I would just try that. Ow. 
You know what it is, I'm just getting impatient. I'm tired of this shit. I'm done with Phantom Ganon. I created you and I can destroy you. Last room? And you know we're gonna be doing all this for, uh, 20 rupees. Alright. It spiked, which should be good, but... I've been lied to before. It's a treasure chart. Alright. GG. Well, I guess I probably had to do that in order to unlock the, uh... The rest of the path to Ganon anyway. Yeah, there's that, there's the, the warp circle now. I guess. Maybe I need to use the light arrows on that, like, stone wall? I don't know. Well, the important thing is now we know, and we won't be doing the Wind Temple for nothing. However, we will still have to do the Wind Temple. So, uh, yeah, that, uh, that kind of sucks. There was a, there was a small hope that we could finish it this time, but, uh, nope. A little over three hours, and we've still got a little- we got one more item. We have to find the light arrows next time. Hopefully they're in the Wind Temple. If they're not... Where else could they be? We could find an item in the Wind Temple that leads to somewhere else, I guess. There's the Tower of the Gods. We could find the, uh... We could find the third pearl. I don't know. Next time could be a 20-minute stream. It could be a two-hour stream. We might have to check every single location remaining in the, ga in the game. Hopefully, I might- maybe I'll be able to stream, like, during a weekday. This coming week. Otherwise, probably ne next weekend we'll finally finish this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time we stream.